It's an overview of the ICD-9E codes. There are major differences in the ICD-10 external cost codes, so they will be presented in a separate lecture. As you recall, E-codes are used to report the external causes of injury and poisoning. E-codes are important since they provide the data source for tracking the causes of injuries and poisonings. Such as how do we know that the majority of accidents occur in the home? Or which sport causes more head injuries? Note that although there are no federal requirements for reporting E-codes, the Colorado Hospital Association requires that E-codes are reported on hospital claims. As you can see from this list that there are many causes of injuries that may be reported, such as those resulting from falls, auto accidents, tornadoes, and fires. If you recall in your ICD-9 codebook, there is a separate index to external causes, which follows the end of your bigger alphabetical index. And if you want to look up the codes, the E codes follow the V codes in the tabular listings. In addition to the injury cause codes, E codes are used to report the activity, place of occurrence, and work status at the time of injury. Unspecified codes are not to be used, so if you don't have the documentation that supports a more specific code, then don't code anything and don't use the unspecified code. But remember, follow your facility guidelines when reporting e-codes. There are additional e-code categories that can be used to report patient abnormal reactions to procedures that are not due to any wrongdoings by the doctor or facility. For example, if a patient returns for a non-healing surgical wound, we want to use the appropriate e-code to provide information that the patient's condition was not caused by something the doctor or facility did incorrectly. There's also late effects of external cause codes, which are used when it's documented <laughs> that the condition is due to a late effect. There are guidelines for sequencing the e-codes. Most important, an e-code can never be used as the first listed code, but multiple e-codes may be assigned for multiple causes of injuries. In general, the order to report e-codes on a claim are cause of injury codes, activity, place of occurrence, and status codes. Remember, these are guidelines and follow your facility guidelines for reporting e-codes. So let's practice. So for this example, we are going to code only the e-codes for a scenario where an off-duty military officer was driving an automobile that collided with another vehicle on an expressway. So when coding e-codes, we want to think of our categories that we have. What's the cause, place, status, and activity? Note, driving is not an activity that has a unique activity code. So let's start with our cause of injury. So where are we going to find these codes? Well, we're going to start with our index to external causes. And in the ital italicized text, this is going to track the order of our main term and subterms. So we first look under accident, we find motor vehicle involving a collision, directs us to code E8112 with a cross-reference of C also collision. So a faster way to get to that code would be to start in the C's under collision and then go to motor vehicle. It also takes us to the same code. But while you're there, notice some of the other options that you can have when you're coding collisions. It can be with a pedestrian, bicycle, and other sorts of objects. So when we go to the tabular list, because remember we always go to the tabular list, we need to find a fourth digit. If you look at the table of our options for the fourth digit, we choose zero because in this scenario our patient is the driver of the vehicle. Read this table very carefully. So let's go to place of occurrence. You can find this if you go to the index of external causes, look under P for place of occurrence and you will get a cross reference to see accident occurring. And we have a code of in street of E849.5. Go to the tabular list to verify this code. You will see that this is more of a best fit code because we don't have the specific word of expressway. So sometimes you won't always find what you're looking for. So think of best fit. The last one we're going to code is our work status. I use the word activity in front because that's how we're going to search for it in our index to external causes. So we look under acti activity status, military, off duty, we get E000.8. So our final slide shows all the e-codes together. And notice that although driving is not activity, if you did have a, an activity that had an activity code, such as playing baseball or riding a bike, then you would search under A for activity. Gradu congratulations on learning to assign e-codes. You will practice coding other scenarios in the exercises provided.